Good morning, everybody. This is Jeffrey Jansen. First off, let's get this started when you're first tuning in today. First off, if you're a hunter, if you're going out duck hunting, if you are out deer hunting, whatever it is you're doing, please, please, please be safe. The winds are very, very bad today. And also, keep everybody in your prayers. This is the busiest travel day of the year because of Thanksgiving tomorrow. All right, everybody? So the first thing, let's make sure to keep in our prayers and let's make sure to wish good luck and make sure everybody gets to their destination safe. Let's make sure everybody that's going out duck hunting or anybody that's going out deer hunting uh, to be very, very careful. The winds are very bad today. These winds can topple. Basically, if you're out in a boat, they can basically tip your boat over. I know a lot of people don't understand how duck hunters think, but they get out in these flat bottom boats. They get out on the, uh, they get it out in their boats and the wind can tip them. So you need to be very, very careful. So keep hunters in your prayers. Also it is the busiest travel day of the year due to Thanksgiving. So let's make sure that we are all being very, very, very careful out there when we're driving on the road and we're praying, saying a prayer for everybody out on the road today that everybody gets to their destination safe because it is Thanksgiving tomorrow. All right, on the next note, what are you doing today to make your day better? Um, I'm actually taking my Jeep in right now and I'll let everybody know, um, started with it yesterday, but I um, got it back and now I gotta take it back one more time. This is the second part of it. And we're gonna finally get that lifter fixed. I know a lot of people have been asking me to because we have to get the Jeep winterized for the travel season, for winter travel season, which is actually starts in December for me. So uh, we're gonna go get that lifter fixed and we're gonna find out what's wrong with the transmission. And for all my Jeep friends out there, a lot of people don't know that I'm also part of a lot of Jeep clubs and everything because, well, I'm a Jeep guy, I can't help it. So today is Wednesday, uh, kids do not have school today. Have fun with your kids today. You know what, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, let them, when I, I remember this time of year, my mom would put me to work in the house, getting it ready for the family and everything. Dusting baseboards, you know, you know, learning to wipe everything down, you know, just doing stuff with my mom and everything. And that was a great day. I knew my dad usually worked and then he went, no, my dad was hunting. And so I'd either be hunting with dad or I would be uh, helping mom with different things. Uh, mom also loved doing crafts and this is about the time of year she'd start doing brown bread and baking cookies and you know, and I like to make sure to keep these thoughts alive and everything else. And maybe someday if something ever happens to me and somebody goes back and looks at this, they can see the fun stuff my mom used to do or I can tell you about her crafts and everything. So Quincy right now, uh, they're even working on the bike path right now. I'm actually just passing the bike path over here uh, in Quincy. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we are going to start making an announcement. I'm hoping the Marine Corps League and the Legion and several other leagues will be on board with it. I'll go ahead and give you a heads up on one of the very first things we are going to propose to get started for the first of the year. It may be a couple years before you get on. And we'll see how you guys think about it because I am going to keep everything live. But we're going to do a memorial a uh, for all female veterans and all female active duty and all female members of the military from the past from every war every skirmish you know peacetime and we want to do a war that signifies just the females and the reason why we're singling out i think it's long overdue i've seen a couple of memorials lately um, of some people that have given respect but in this area here our military is not as great without the females, meaning we are all 50-50 equal. You know, there is no, I am better than this person. We can't do it without them. World War II, you know, Rosie the Riveter, if you ever want to look up some of this stuff and how great these people were, okay, God made us all equal to get things done. You know, just because we take on different jobs and roles in the world does not mean we are any different. And the women of the United States military going all the way back to you know the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, and everything else have taken a vital key role. And there are a lot of women out there who feel that we they have never been thanked properly. And so we are going the very first proposal I'm putting in for to see if um we can get some and you know I know that I'm putting it into all but you know here's just it. All these guys and everything they have wives or all these wives have husbands and they all understand how vital a wimp, the women are in our everyday military. So we're gonna, that's the first 
uh, proposal. And it'll, it should go over without a hitch, I think. We're, we'll see. But, you know, I'm going to need a lot of ideas. We're going to need a lot of help. And for the next couple of years, getting this going on the Illinois Veterans Hall, make sure there. The second memorial is more of a memorial, not just for military, but for everybody. And I have to get up with the Park District and the Illinois Veterans Home and several bigger groups because it, the memorial we want to do is work hand in hand with the Park District on their tree program, the Veterans Home on their tree program, and also bring Wi-Fi to anybody that wants, but also like people can put things in for their family. It's going to be a memorial that remembers those everybody and not just military but the history of who we are and where we come from i'm so tired of people trying to cover up history making history different whatever it else history is a key factor in everything okay and to me that is one of the great things and one of the things i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that second battalion eighth marines even though we're out of camp Lejeune, north carolina my friends and brothers are from all over the world i guess you could say and there's nothing greater to me than being able to memorialize each and every one of them and their families and what we do. But also people here in Quincy and maybe army units and maybe not just that, maybe the mayors and maybe, you know. And then we put all this down in a big memorial and people can come from all over the world to come see this memorial. And, you know, actually use history. It's going to be a living memorial, meaning you, it's going to be interactive with things. Um, people don't understand that goes and I'll give you more details on that later on but my job and my goal in life is just to have just a brief little moment to make sure that I can recognize those that have gone before us and they never are forgotten and they live in history so that way when you go out there today and you're in the middle you know I know everybody wants free college right now and they're all complaining and whining they should get free college this and free college that see I don't believe in that and the reason why I don't believe in that is because that's like saying that everybody should have a free car, or a free automobile. After a while, the people that are getting something free, the ones that are paying for it are going to want it free too because they're going to be tired of paying for those that work for them. It's like a working party. One of the worst things about working parties in the military, and anybody that's ever been in the military will understand this. You get 10 guys out there to go on a working party, and all of a sudden you got three guys doing all the work and everybody else telling them to do the work. Well, after a while... They don't want to do the work either, so they stop. Why? Because, hey, if you're not going to do the work, I'm not going to do the work. Hey, if you can get to sit down and relax and, and lounge around, then I get to do that also. So, to me, it's a very big deal that... Uh, I'm sorry, buddy, i got to get in front of you here. It's a very big deal that everybody earns their keep, you know? Uh, college is one of those things, when you're a kid, that's the very first loan you take out. That's the very first thing that you're going to take on, is you're going to take on the college. All right, everybody, I will talk to you guys more later. I am pulling into the uh, car place to have my Jeep looked at and everything else. It looks like me and Brent got here at the exact same time. Uh, I don't know where they wanted at. Wee. Anyway, I want you all to know that you all matter. You're all important. I want you to all know that you all mean the world to me. We'll be going live here a couple times today. I got some stuff I got to get done, but I do have to get my stuff up and going today. Let me get all my gear here. You guys can watch me put on my cold weather gear. Got all kinds of things I got to get done today. There we are. I'm sorry, but it's cold out there today, and I'm tired of the cold. I got my gator. So, I'll talk to everybody later. God bless.